history, don't we, Sarah? Well, it reminds me of not returning library books. <laughs> oh, yeah, the horror me of too. That, not being able to sleep at night. Are you up for a quiz, a little quiz? Do you know what's behind me here? Do you know what we call this? No mist and fog tonight. No, no, no. Like Do you know what we call this? Mackerel sky? Have you heard that expression before? Of course. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, no, just because it's a cirro cumulus or alto cumulus when you get a sky like this. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is because we had some amazing pictures of it today, uh, particularly out towards parts of Sussex and further along, uh, really, towards Wittering. And that really heralds a change in the weather or an approaching weather front, and it's slipping towards us at the moment, which means not only is it not quite as chilly tonight, not the frost as uh, Natalie rightly says, but also it means that we are going to see things turn a bit milder the next few days. Here is that front slipping across us, but it doesn't quite make it all the way to Kent. The cloud is with us all for the coming hours. The rain associated perhaps maybe just stays out towards the west. It'll be a bit damper drizzly for most of us, though, I think, into tomorrow morning. Temperature's going to lift a bit overnight, so no frost and no fog as well. First time that I've not said that for a while it feels like and then tomorrow yeah a bit damp at first but generally the day itself is cloudy but dry the breeze a little bit more evident than it has been in the past few days the temperatures are up just a notch not loads but tomorrow we could get to eight celsius it'll still feel a bit cool out there i have to say because of all the cloud but you know it's signs of a change and then tomorrow night our next wet weather system sweeping in and again you know i think this one will clear to all of us we will see some heavy rain then there's more out in the wings for the weekend so it's a conveyor belt of systems and when you start to get that this time of year you know the temperatures are going to lift so here is tomorrow night that uh, next frontal band comes through some more significant rain we'll all see that then into the early hours of friday but then on friday afternoon we get some sunshine coming through and look at the difference in temperatures we're back into double figures 11 or 12 celsius is slightly above average for the time of year we're not going to be basking or anything but you know very different to what we have seen let's get into the outlook then because we are really going to as i say see a conveyor belt of systems so there will be some wet weather around at times i think over the weekend maybe in a way saturday is your best day of it looks like we will be largely dry on saturday but sunday you can see there is more rain in the forecast but the temperatures are back on the climb no significant frosts in the forecast might see something a little bit into the early hours of Saturday. But other than that, nothing like a winter wonderland here. No mackerel skies in that no forecast, are there either? We, we enjoyed that very much. Sarah, thank you very much. That's it from us this evening. Chrissy will be here with you after the national news at 10 o'clock. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.